Now's the time to discover the home to Tongli and Jojong Town, Shujoi City. The city with a history of over 2500 years is also famous for its ancient heritage gardens. Well, there's a popular saying that Jiangsu province has the most beautiful gardens. And the best among them is of course here in Chujor city. And one of them is this one, Humble Administrators, which is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Humble's administrator's garden built in 1509 Ming Dynasty covers a sprawling 52,000 square meters is the largest and the most renowned one. Centered on water with peculiar artificial hills, unique plants, elegant pavilions and corridors, this garden was once upon a time a retired official's home. Imagine so much natural beauty just in your backyard. Shijou is not only a cultural city with ancient gardens and water towns, but is also the silk capital of China. And this factory come museum visit for me was super awaited as I just can't wait to meet some of my creepy little friends. always hated creepy crawlies but these cute little creatures here I love them you know why because such beautiful silk fabric comes out of them from silk worms to delicate silk threads to beautiful piece of silk fabric combined in various art forms getting to see all these minute stages was definitely a rare opportunity A major economic and trade center is the largest city in the province after its capital Nanjing. The city is so well developed with clean roads and little canals that it looks like pieces of jewels. Well, this is exactly that spot from where you can see most of the Shujoi city. And I think I've decided to sit back and relax for a bit before I head out for more fun. I'm at the Pingjiang Street right now, which is 1,600 meters long, lined up with shops and bars of all kinds and always buzzing with dozens of people. What I'm missing right now, a guy sitting next to me in this perfect romantic weather and some shopping to pamper me like crazy. Getting emotional especially when your trip is just about to get over is quite normal. But my spirits are charged up once again among these lovely and oh so humble people. Well this is just the perfect way to end my cosy stay here in Suzhou. From the quaint water to the alleys to the people's leisure way of living their life. This is definitely the best place on earth. So this is me, Radhika, and hope you liked exploring the unexplored with me.